Got a mob of vandals targeting the po Portland Police Association, burning debris, leaving anti-cop graffiti outside headquarters. That was just Saturday. This is more than 30 Portland cops and supervisors open up about why they are leaving the state's largest police force in droves, which means great numbers. One retiring detective telling the Argonian the community shows zero support. The mayor and council ignore actual facts on crime and policing in favor of radical leftist and anarchist fantasy. I know they're 100% correct in that. We've been chronicling it. The officer is one, is one of more than 100 who have reportedly left the bureau since July in one of the biggest waves of departures in recent memory. Here to react, Fox News analyst Lawrence Jones. Lawrence, can you blame them? No, I mean Chuck, the you know the police chief is doing the best that he can to keep morale up. But when you have no support from, you know, the leadership in the city, I mean, what are you supposed to do? I think the community does support. I mean, when you look at all the polling, the community says they want good law enforcement, they want the bad apples gone. But when you have this movement that is getting the majority of the attention. Um, it becomes a big problem. You know, so often when we cover these stories, and I've been to Portland, I can't go uh, recently because Fox Security says it's just not safe for me to go. They know who I am at this point. Um, you know, when, when we look at these stories, we normally simmer in on one city. But this is happening all across the country. You got Seattle, you got Philly, you got Chicago, six people dead over the weekend. You know, 26, I think it was like over 20 that was shot. Um, it is an epidemic in these liberal cities, and when you talk to them, they say, oh, it's just because of the pandemic. No, I was been, I've been reporting on these cities for two years, and there has been a lack of leadership there. So what do you do, Brian? The only thing I could come up with is offering an alternative to the people, Republicans getting involved, because if this is the way... I can't see these people getting reelected over and over again. They need an alternative. The right. people do. Right. And the Republican Party has not done a good job putting no. up candidates. They throw up their hands. And the last candidate to run against Todd Wheeler is from Antifa. She's got an Antifa background. So Wheeler wins and then realizes uh, in order to, uh, he's going to show an understanding with a lot of these riders, and they end up blowing up in his face. So when we look at this police officers, they're being told across the uh, country they're the problem. They're going to change policing, reimagining it, while emptying the prisons and then getting rid of qualified immunity so they can get sued on top of that. That's in New York, but it usually picks up from what New York does. Yeah, when they have decided to reimagine it, then crime is going out of control. Shootings are happening, people being stabbed, can't get on a subway anymore. Look, Brian, no one has been more outspoken against when, when, when justice needs to happen, when people's civil liberties uh, are violated. And unlike some people, I'm consistent on the issue. I oppose the state when they abuse their power, whether it's law enforcement or, or over-regulation in communities. But it comes to a point where government's first role is to protect these people. And right now, the communities aren't safe. And so something has to be done. An alternative has to be presented to these people. No one wants to not to be able to walk the street or their kids to be able to walk to school. And that's what's happening in this city. It's happening in Seattle. And, and track it now. It's not just, you know, a violence issue. It's a drug epidemic that are in these communities, a homelessness crisis. It, it all overlaps. It's one big cluster. You know what? Yes, we do. And there's a lot of people leaving the Capitol Police Force, the New York Police Force, the Portland Police Force. And I remember two years ago, Philadelphia came here saying they're looking to recruit from New York to get people to go to Philadelphia. That is before what's happened with the pandemic and the whole de-emphasis on police. Lawrence, thanks so much.